Stick around until after the video to save 15% on Sticky Holster's products. We all hunt for different reasons, but for me, it's about the joy of the hunt. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a heck of a buck. And boy, do we have a story to tell. Yes, we do. I think uh, if you're the kind of person that measures the success of a hunt with a tape measure, you're probably not the kind of person that would enjoy an adventure like this. I'm Keith Warren, and together, let's take the high road. So we're just outside of Springfield, Oregon, and I'm with some longtime friends of mine, the Tiller family. They own and operate Timber Creek Outdoors. And so I'm up here uh, spending some time with them, uh, doing some blacktail hunting, and uh, just catching up. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> good to see you. You're slimming down, buddy. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say the same about you. <laughs> Look with the cat drug in, huh? <laughs> Nice and last year, I mean, it's like all the leaves are turning colors yeah. and stuff. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Am I in my room back you there? Are. Yes. I kind of figured I would be. I knew where the room was. <laughs> Tyler said, you want to stay with mom and dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, coming up here, the experience is not killing a big black tilly, but I want to spend time with some quality people and it's all about the experience. And so getting to spend time with the tillers, whether it's uh, going and seeing them in the shop. This is my buddy right here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or you know, eating dinner with them or sitting on the couch, whatever, just catching up with them uh, is worth the trip. So I've known Tyler a long time. Tyler is a great young man. He's got a great family. He's a great father. He's a great husband. And uh, he's a great example for everybody out there that may consider having his own business someday. My name's Tyler Tiller. I'm with Timber Creek Outdoors, located here in Springfield, Oregon. Timber Creek's a family owned and operated manufacturing company and we specialize in gun accessories. The majority of our gun accessories are for modern sporting rifles and our accessories not only improve your accuracy and the function of your rifle, but they upgrade the look and the color so you personalize it to yourself. Today, modern sporting rifles are uh, really hot. Man, I mean, everybody wants one. And they'll make any modern sporting rifle shoot better, function better, and customize it for you. A lot of people think that ARs are for tactical people. First off, they shoot just as good as any quality bolt rifle out there. And next, if you need a follow-up shot, you have multiple quick follow-up shots. The modern sporting rifle is for anyone that's looking to get out there and shoot and have a lot of fun. So last year, Tyler took me on my very first desert mule deer hunt in Oregon. I had no idea the quality of deer that I was gonna see. And I wound up taking the biggest mule deer of my life. And so this year, Tyler says, you just wait. He says, we got a lot of blacktail. I'm going, yeah, but blacktail are kind of little and all. It's like, all right, I'll wait. Keith has never been to Oregon blacktail hunting and it's gonna be rainy and nasty and it is perfect weather for a successful hunt. These deer that we're gonna be hunting are true Colombian blacktail deer. And they're a very small deer. They're not like a mule deer or a whitetail. They're completely different. Now we got this APF rifle all decked out in Timber Creek. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to the range and check zero. All right, so let me tell you about the gear. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor made by APF and Garrett wound up sending it to Tyler a couple weeks ago and I wanna point some stuff out. This got Timber Creek gear on it for something really special. Of course, it's got the oversized charging handle and the grip and it's got my favorite, the ambidextrous safety, but now it's got this new cantilever mount right here, scope mount. And uh, how long have y'all been making them? They just came out, we offered them uh, to the buy group shows and they're gonna be ready at the first of the year to ship out to customers. Well, this is a, this is a first for me because I haven't even seen it, it was kind of a surprise. All right, when you come up this country, the weatherman is predicting lousy weather, which is gonna be good for blacktail hunting. But uh, not only do you need to make sure your firearm is nicely lubed, but you also need to make sure and have a pair of 
sculpt covers. These are Timber Creek sculpt covers. Now, you see all this stuff that they make for ARs and all, but they also make sculpt covers. So anyway, have a good pair because it will be raining if you come up here to Blacktail Hunt. But we've got a Determinator target down there at 100 yards. We're gonna go ahead and send five shots down there and see what happens. That felt good. Looks good too. Can you see it, Tyler? Yeah. What do you think? Boy, that looks good to me. It looks like one big hole down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're in Oregon on a blacktail hunt. This is Tyler Tiller with Timber Creek Outdoors. And uh, if it sounds like it's raining, it is. <laughs> and we're in the biggest deer blind I've ever been in. It's uh, not a tank blind, but it's a, nonetheless, it's a big blind. And we're hunting for blacktail and maybe a black bear if one comes in. So it's late October and the weather is nasty and we like it, huh? Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. The more it rains, the more the deer moves. These blacktail just love the rain. Well, we're in a really beautiful spot. I mean, you look out the windows and I mean, it's gorgeous. You can see deer at 360 degrees. It's beautiful. I'm glad we're not walking around, I'll put it that way. Oh yeah, it, we'd be wet real quick. <laughs> yeah. Now this first sit has been awesome, and Keith always says the first sit's always your best sit, and we have seen buck after buck. It's a three by four. Look how dark his antlers are. Yeah, he's a good mature buck. He's probably a four-year-old deer. He's got a nice frame. Golly, we're surrounded by deer. That's a nice buck right there. Now I'm looking out of the window at a buck on one side of the blind, and all of a sudden, Keith says, There's a bear. There's a bear right here. Now all of a sudden, we see a bear running across the pasture. Right here, there's a bear. He's going back down here. We'll get on it. Get on that bear. He's got a white patch on him. You see him climbing up that tree? Yeah, I see him. Look at him knocking all the limbs, everything down. Do you have a shot there, Keith? Let me move over a little bit and I'll smoke him while he's in that tree. If you can get a shot, I'll take there, a shot. Here he goes. Okay. What happened? I don't know. He disappeared right after you shot. I couldn't have missed. What the heck? He didn't seem like he was hit. I couldn't have missed. I could not have missed. Or could I? What the heck? The shot felt good. Oh, heck yeah, it felt good. Okay. He only went about five yards and then disappeared out of sight there. He might be dead down there. I don't know. He sure didn't act like he was hit. Mm -mm. That's not good. Let's watch that video back and see what happened. He lops the top of a branch about that big off. The bullet goes off this way, the branch goes over this way, and the bear runs over the hill. I think that's the luckiest black bear in the state of Oregon right now. So we're back out and the rain just continues to come down. I'm thinking sometimes it's so loud in that blind that you can't even hear yourself think. I mean, it is loud. But I'm thinking it doesn't seem to bother the deer at all. The deer activity is going crazy. We are seeing so many black tail that it's amazing. We're surrounded. Look at him, boy, tell me that's not ruddy. Whew. I got a couple down here that are holding up, but it's the first night. It's like, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah. yeah, we're really covered up here. A week ago, there weren't any bucks here at all. It's this weather, this weather had to trigger it. This is amazing. Did he already cross the fence? Yeah. Controlling your scent is really important for anything that has got a nose that's gonna detect human odor. And it's for that reason, especially during the rut with white-tailed deer or mule deer or black-tailed deer. Those deer are using their nose all the time. They're trying to sniff out a girl. They'll also sniff you out. It's for that reason that I'm never going to the woods without eliminating my human odor. Oh, it's not quite as stormy this morning. Seems like the deer aren't moving quite as much, but it's supposed to rain all day. See, that's just totally different than our deer at home. When it's raining, they don't come out very well. 
See, it's really hard for me to be at work in the winter time because it's just raining and I just think about hunting the whole time. All right, so we wound up, we had a pretty good sit this morning. It's kind of slow compared to last night. But uh, what do you want to do? I think we ought to get out and go check these Reconyx cameras we have out. We have about five of them. And uh, if we see anything good on there, we can set a different blind. So Tyler's got a bunch of Reconyx cameras around the property. And what we're going to do, we're going to go pull these cards and replace them. And uh, go back to the house and check these pictures. And then make a decision on where we want to sit. It's going to be really, really tough to find a better place than this. Because this place last night was good. We'll see. We're back in the same blind we started in. The reason why is because uh, although we did not have a picture of that big buck we saw last night, he was in here a lot. Hopefully he's predictable. The biggest buck that we saw on the camera was uh, in a spot that you can't see very well, and he came in at three o'clock in the morning. So we're back here where we started and see what happens. Got a nice mature buck out here with a doe. We're running out of light, but we got better deer in here than that. So we're just gonna hold off for now. That's a nice deer. He's 150 yards away, but we are losing light fast. I'm not gonna do it. We're not in any hurry. We've got another couple of days of the hunt left. There's no doubt the rut has started. They're chasing, sniffing, which is good because we know at any given time, Mr. B could step out. And all of a sudden, right before dark, this buck steps out and it turns out it's the same buck that we saw earlier in the hunt. He needs to move, I see him. That's a good buck. He's facing to the right. Yep. He's got to move to the right. He's right behind that limb. He's got to move about two more steps to the right. He's right behind that. Yep, he's looking to the right. He's going to move right over there. Yeah. There he starts going. I'm not going to shoot him with his head down. I'm going to get him raise his head up. Here we go. Okay. Tell are you ready? I'm ready. Hey! Got him. Got him. I see him falling down. He just fell down. See him up on top of the hook? Yep. He just went down. Did you hear that bullet hit him? Oh my goodness, you smoked Smack! him. Boom! You smoked him. I'm looking at him 180 yards away, and I'm looking at his white belly right there, pal. What do you think Good of that? Job. Congratulations, <laughs> Keith. That's an awesome black tail. Oh. That is an awesome Colombian black tail. Let's go see what we have. All right. That's fantastic. All right, so check this out. This is my first true Colombian black tail buck. Tyler, what do you think of him? That's a heck of a buck there, Keith. He's a good, mature, older deer, and he's got a real nice rack there. He almost had that fourth little kicker there. This is a real treat for me. You know, I'm not a trophy hunter, I'm a hunter, and I sometimes I kill big deer and sometimes I don't, but I'm a hunter and it's all about the experience to me. And coming up here in uh, the Northwest and being able to hunt up here, this is like the rainforest to me. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful moss on the trees and moisture everywhere, and the deer are cool. I mean, it's kind of a combination between Oh, white tail and a mule deer. He's got a double fork like mule deer, and then he's got like brow tines like a white tail deer. I mean, check his ears out. He's got ears that are not quite as big as a mule deer, but they're bigger than a white tail deer. Well, yeah, I'm guessing this guy's around 150 pounds, something like yeah, that. Yeah, probably 150, 160 pounds. And so, I mean, just a, a beautiful buck. And I don't know how many different bucks we have seen, but the rut is fixing to come wide open oh, yeah. here. If somebody wants more information about coming up here and hunting blacktail deer with you, what do they need to do? Well, they can go to our Timber Creek website, www.timbercreekoutdoorsinc.com, and fill out the Contact Us page or give us a call at the office, and someone would love to talk to them. Yeah, and folks, uh, got a lot of deer. 
Well, I passed up a lot of nice bucks, and so mm -hmm. tell you thank you. Congratulations, I appreciate you. Keith. Absolutely. So we're not done with the show yet. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Tyler's dad's birthday, <laughs> and uh, although uh, Dwayne is probably not going to want to hunt, I guarantee you, your son Colton's going to want to. Yep. So yep. we'll be out with Colton and Dwayne first thing in the morning. Check this guy out. I'm happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a beautiful buck, Keith. Colton's the kind of kid that uh, he's going to wake up before you mm -hmm. in the morning. He's going to be ready to go before you are because he's got it in here. So we just got settled in and Keith got his buck last night. So this morning Colton's on deck. Today's my dad's 73rd birthday so Colton and I brought him out here for a birthday morning deer hunt. I'm super excited because it's just getting light. And when we got in this morning, there was a deer, and it's my grandpa's birthday. Last year, I killed a deer on his birthday, and I'm hoping to do it again. Colton, there's a buck. Right there, you see him running across. Yeah. Can you see him there between the two trees? Yeah. You can just see his front shoulder. He's running right over in that brush, following that doe. What a birthday buck for grandpa, huh? Two years in a row. How about that? Good job, Colton. Get up and give me a hug. Give me one. How about that? <laughs> good job, buddy. That was so cool. Hey, good job. Way to stay patient. Way to stay patient. That was cool. This morning's very special to be out here with my dad and my son. And, uh, there's not a lot of memories that are more important than this right here. That's right. Hunting's really a great experience when you come out and you get to do it with your grandkids and your, and your son. It's not actually the killing of the deer, but it's the setting up and waiting for them and watching them and you see how they react to things. I have a lot of hope that uh, this tradition will go on and on. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you, son. This is quite a present. Two years in a row. Mm -hmm. This is pretty nice. One of the reasons I love hunting is it brings families close together. Good job, buddy. And the time that we have to share with one another. When you step away from the electronics and the concrete and all the hustle and bustle and you wind up getting in the woods with your family, I don't think there's a better time that could be had. So this year you killed one opening morning. What did you do last year on this day? Killed one. Same day? Mm-hmm. How do you know? Because it's your birthday. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> this has been a fantastic trip for me. Yeah, I got to take a, a nice black tail buck, but I got to spend time with the Tiller family. And uh, being able to come up here and spend time with them and enjoy the time and enjoy uh, this beautiful country and being able to take a nice black tail and film Colton getting his black tail was pretty cool. And I appreciate y'all for watching. If you got any questions or comments and you're watching online, go ahead and post them below. If you're not watching online, head on over to our YouTube channel and make sure and subscribe. My name is Keith Warren and I'll see y'all next week. Sticky Holsters is famous for their super non-slip material holsters, magazine pouches, belly bands, thigh and ankle holsters, and off-body carry solutions. No clips, no loops, just comfort and security. Sticky Holsters now presents the Fanatic Outdoor line for the outdoorsman. 
Their new Venatic collection has the most innovative and unique modular rifle sling on the market. This sling can easily be moved from firearm to firearm and will never slip off your shoulder due to the sticky material. They've also released a rifle or shotgun cheek pad riser that comes with an optional ammo holder and dope card sleeve. For everyday carry solutions and in the field comfort and performance, you need to check out Sticky Holsters and their new Venatic Outdoor line. Enter promo code HIGHROAD15 at purchase to save 15% on all Sticky products.